Well, you touched on the PNL session just now, and the, and the other session we started with was people and building a high performance team. So, have you approached building a high performance team and then getting the most out of that team? Yeah. Um, I, again, I, I kind of go back to what I said earlier a little bit. You know, you, you wanna you wanna hire people uh, on your teams that are smart and bright. Of course, you know that, and uh, that have experiences that are transferable into your industry and into the roles they're going to come into. But I think I've learned as well is that you, you really want to hire a strong work ethics and good attitude. Um, you can teach people about your business. Most people can learn different things, different industries, different customers, different applications of things. They can, they can learn that. Um, but man, trying to teach people how to have a good attitude, <laughs> good luck. Unless you're a psychologist uh, or a mental health uh, practitioner, it's, it's hard work. It's really hard work. And most of us in this room probably don't have the patience for that either. So you want to hire people that are smart, but also have great work ethics and really good attitudes around what needs to happen. And um, that's hard to do. It's, it's tricky hiring people today. Um, I, you know, as well as I think I have it wired, as much as I've learned, and Danaher even had a process, believe it or not, around interviews, and around a hiring process. They had a matrix of how to do that sort of stuff. Uh, and I utilize that still today as well. Um, you can still be fooled. Um, the best way to kind of prevent that from happening uh, and I think that this team here employs it is to have a team approach because each of the team members, if you have four or five people who are going to interview a prospective candidate, they'll bring different perspectives and they can ask different situational questions, different ideas about how they handle the emotional fit of the job. Uh, are they good problem solvers? Are they innovators? Will they fit the cultural role they're trying to fill as well? So again, hiring that, that, that right person. And once you do hire that person, it's not just about, it's not done, right?